Yes, thank you, Jesus. Well, if God be for us, who can be against us?
He loves it. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. As we get ready to change the order of service, Sunday school teachers, children, go ahead. Go to their classes, amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pick this book up, amen. It's truly good to be in the house of the Lord today, amen. Yes, it is. <laughs> I got you, brother. Thank you. Amen. Yes. This morning you can turn with me to the book of Psalms, 
chapter 101. Amen. And I want to say that it's truly good to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. We're all blessed to be able to be here. Amen. It's yes, all we are. all to Him that you're here. Amen. So I can tell you today, amen, you ought to be praising the Lord because if it weren't for Him, none of us would be here. Amen. And I can tell you, He's given us all another day this side of eternity, amen, to make a difference, amen. How many know that He's the difference? Yes, He is. Amen. It's all because of Him, amen, that we can come together this morning and uh, we can learn from His Word, amen, to be who He's called us to be, amen. This is our guideline, amen, this Bible that He's given us, it's the written Word of God, amen, been Inspired by men of God, amen, by the Spirit of the Lord, amen, given unto us in black and white, amen. It's God Himself been yes, written. It is. been written, amen. And we can take this, amen, you can take a lot of things to the bank, amen. You can take a lot of things to the pawn shop, if you would, and get a certain amount for it. But I can tell you, amen, and eventually that which you get will run out, amen. But yes, this right here... Will never run out. Amen. It's the living word of yes. God. Amen. And it's alive even until today. Amen. And it'll be alive tomorrow. Amen. We can bank on it. Amen. And if God said it, it's going to happen. Amen. And it's a book of promises. Amen. We need to take this. Amen. The Bible's as happy as he that keepeth his mind upon the Lord. Amen. So if you'll keep the word of God in your heart and your mind, amen. And keep it upon that, amen. You can walk around this old rough world, amen, and be happy, amen. Isn't that good news today, amen? Yeah. God's made a way for you and I, amen, to walk in His joy, amen. I can tell you today, amen, I, I, I have chose to do so, amen, no matter what comes down the pike, amen, no matter what I have to face, amen, I want to be happy, amen. Not Even right, though right. tragedy may fall by my side, amen, I want to be happy, amen, yes. and I can tell you today, amen, when we begin to walk with the Lord, amen, we'll be happy, amen, God, he'll, he'll show you how to be happy in the midst of tragedy, amen, I can tell you today, amen, that we have to learn to walk wisely, amen, the Bible says that we're to walk wise, redeeming the day, for the days are evil, amen, yes, they are, Redeeming the time for the days are evil. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Psalm 101, we're going to read four verses here. One through four. It says, I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, I will sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O oh, when thou, and when wilt thou come unto me? I walk within my house with a perfect heart. Amen. Come on. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, and it shall not cleave to me. Amen. Sound like David is trying to make good decisions. Amen. Amen. Since a forward heart shall depart from me, and I will not know a wicked person. Amen. So there comes a time in all of our lives, amen, and there's going to come a time in our walk with God where God separates the goats from the sheep, amen. Yep. There comes a time in our walk in this earth, Sister Sue, when we make a vow unto God that we have to learn to separate ourselves from the world, amen. Yes, we do. We have to learn to separate ourselves from wicked people. That's what verse 4 says. Amen. I'm telling you today, amen, that we have to learn to change, amen. How many knows that they've changed since they've met Jesus, amen? Amen. You're not the same as you was. Why? Because when Jesus moved in, the old man moved out. That's right. But how many knows the old man come back and knocks every now and then, amen? He comes back to try to pay you a visit, don't he, amen? There's times when we fall short, amen, in our prayer life, in time with God, amen, reading our word and, and going to church and doing things that God would have us to do, we find find ourselves falling short in our walk with Him. Amen. 
Because we can't make it without the Lord. Amen? That's right. And any of you think that you've got it going on and you're going to be alright and you don't need God, let me just tell you, you've already messed up. Amen? Yeah. You've already fallen. Amen? God don't want us to fall. Amen? But He knows that we will at times. Amen? There's not one in here perfect. But we're to strive to be perfect. And that's what David was talking about. Amen? Striving to be perfect. Amen? Yeah. And the Bible talks about these things. And I've got some marked out for us this morning. Amen? To go over together. Amen? If I can find my place here. Amen? I want to talk to you about bringing perfection in your life. In your walk with God. Amen? And I can tell you. Amen? We have... We have to strive to be like Christ. It's not going to come easy. Amen. It's not going to be normal. Amen. That's right. Matter of fact, the Bible says that we're to be a peculiar people. Amen. Right. We're to be different, in other words. Amen. In the world. Amen. We're not to walk like them, talk like them, and act like them. Amen. And it does start at home. Amen. Yes, it does. And it very well does start at home. You know what starting at home needs to start? It's to walk wise. You know what wisdom is? Wisdom is the fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of the fear of the Lord. That's amen. The That's where wisdom starts. That is amen. The word. And if we don't fear God, amen, we're not going to walk in a way that God would have us to walk. Amen. amen. Because self's going to be all in the way. We spoke uh, Wednesday night over in the book of Titus about... Uh, abstaining ourselves from worldly lust, amen, yep. and from the flesh and the deeds of the flesh, amen. We've got to stay away from those things, amen. We've got to keep self out of the way, amen. And the only way to do that, amen, is by putting your trust and faith in the Lord, amen. Yep. How many of you truly trust God, amen? Glory to God, hallelujah. How many yes. of you know at times you truly don't trust God? Times, amen. Well, go ahead, all of you raise your hand the first time. Yeah. You ought to just go ahead and raise it again. Amen. Because we all fail at times, amen. Now, I'm not putting any of you down, amen. We all fall short of the glory of God, but I'm not telling you that it's all right to fall short of the glory of God, because it's not. Come on, bro. But God knew we weren't perfect. That's why He sent His Son, Jesus, amen. To die and shed his blood so that our sins would be covered. Amen. How many knows that we've done been bought with a price? Amen. He done paid it, hadn't he? Amen. Amen. Paid a debt that he didn't know, did he? Yep. Did it just for you, David? Just for me. Just for you, Sister Hope, Randy. He did it for y'all. Amen. Amen. And for me. Amen. He did it for the whole world. Amen. All of mankind. He shed his blood. He hung upon the cross. Yes, he did. He was beat with a cat of nine tails. We began to watch that movie, The Son of God, last night. Didn't get through all of it, amen. Because kids kind of started getting a little restless, amen. <laughs> amen. I, don't, I, don't I believe Petey, Petey was a little tired. I know I was wore out, amen. But uh, what because I'd been up here all day. It was because I'd been at work all day. But I can tell you this, amen, that Jesus went through a lot for you and I. Yes, he did. You know what? He he gave his life. He gave everything he had, amen. So that we could live. Yes. Amen. And if we're going to live, we're going to have to give our lives. Did you hear what I said? Come on, brother. If we're going to live, we're going to have to become wise. That's preaching. And we're going to have to give our life up, Amen. And accept His. Amen. So that we can walk in perfect peace. Amen. So that we can have that joy that's unspeakable, full of glory. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, the world needs to see Jesus in our lives. Amen. They don't need to see you and I. They need to see Jesus. And I'm telling you, amen, we need to know that when we walk out of our doors at home that we we have done all that we know to do to keep ourselves in, in right perspective with Him so that we can go unto a lost and dying world and be that example that He's called us to be. Amen. Today, amen, God wants us to walk in perfection. Amen. 
Matthew 5 and 48 says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Glory to God. We got to keep self out of the way if that's going to happen. We got to stay on our knees, ready, if that's going to happen. Amen. We got to stay in the Word, David, and keep it on the tables of our heart and chew upon it, meditate upon it day and night if that's going to happen. Amen. I'm telling you today, amen, we can walk before a dying world, before the sinners, amen, before the lost today. And we can be an example, Sister Sue, that Jesus Christ has risen. Amen. We can be that light and that beacon, Brother Hyde, that that Bethlehem star represents. Amen. Yes. We can be that light, amen, unto a lost and dying world. Amen. We can be who God's called us to be and we'll put our trust and faith in Him. Amen. And we'll learn to walk wisely. Amen. Redeeming the time for the yes. days are evil. Amen. God. 2 Corinthians 13 and 11 says, Finally, brother, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Amen. Yes. You know, as we begin to walk together and unify ourselves as one body, people begin to hear about what God is doing. Yes. Amen. Us. And when they begin to hear about the good reports and, and the things that's going on and the miracles that's taking place, you know what? Eventually they want to come and take part. Yeah, Amen. they want to see what's going on. Amen. They don't want to miss it. Amen. That Absolutely. sounds good. Amen. I can tell you, amen, as I was growing up in the uh, living in the world, amen, and doing the things of the world, amen. If I heard of a good old party, I wanted to be there. Amen? Yeah, amen. I did. I did all I could to make sure I got to go. I'd invite myself if I had to. Yeah, <laughs> didn't have to invite me, amen. amen. Well, I done heard about it. It's out so-and-so, and I'm going to be there starting at 6 o'clock, amen. I believe I'll get there at 5, amen. amen. But now today, amen, we talk about coming to church and everybody dreads it, amen. Yeah. Oh, you may not, oh my goodness gracious, I, know, I, know, I just don't know if I feel like going. Come on. But it should be one of the greatest experiences that we experience upon this earth is coming to church, amen. Yes. David said that he rejoiced that it was a blessing Amen. To come to the house of God. Amen. amen. If it's come to be a dread to you, then there's something wrong with you. Amen. amen. It's not nothing wrong with the church. Amen. Although all churches aren't doing the right thing. But I can tell you here, we're trying to live according to that which the Word of God says. Amen. So if you're coming and you're not getting something, it's maybe because you're not putting nothing in it to start with. Amen. Let me just go ahead and tell you, prayer changes things. Yes, it does. I've heard a lot of complaints. Well, I'm crying up. Not here lately, praise God. But I've heard it in the past, Sister Shirley. Oh, I just don't know. Every time I go to church, it, it's just like I'm dead and I'm crying up. Well, God's trying to show you something. Amen. Why don't you wake up? Glory to God. It ain't my fault. You can blame it on me. If there's not fire behind the pulpit, maybe you're not praying enough. Come on, brother. Huh? God's the one that changes things, not Brother Derek. That's the truth. Have you tapped in? Are you tapped into the right fountain? Or have you even been tapping in? You've been praying at all. Amen. I'm telling you, amen. Here a few weeks back, I preached that prayer brought forth success. Amen. Amen. And it'll not be brought forth through you and I, but it'll be brought forth through God. See, He's the one that changes things. Amen. Yeah. He's the one that brings perfection in our life. Amen. When we begin to walk in the fear and admiration of the Lord, we begin to do the things that God would have us to do. Amen. We begin to listen to God. Amen. We begin to obey God and do what He wants us to do. Amen. And when we begin to walk like that, Amen, we begin to be filled with the joy and the peace that, that, that uh, the Word of God is telling us about here. 
in 2 Corinthians. Amen? Amen. But when we're not doing those things, sister, Levon is, we begin to complain. We begin to feel like that everything's backwards. Come on, brother. Nothing seems to be right anymore. And it just seems like oppression tries to set in, amen. And all it is is the enemy trying to get his hooks in you, amen, and drag you down, amen. Come on. But you know, it's our job to stay close to God. It's our job yes, to is. yield ourselves and humble ourselves and to walk wisely, amen. It's our job to separate ourselves from amongst the world. Let's go back to to our scripture real quickly here, and we'll come back here in just a second. Amen? Come on, brother. It says, I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, I will sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, and will thou come unto me, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Amen? Amen. Verse 3 says, listen, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. Bible says that if we're going to walk wise and circumspect, we we got to shine the very appearance of evil. The appearance of it, yeah. We can't give place to it. Amen. We surely can't play around with it. Amen. It says we're going to have no part with it. Amen. It says right here. It says I hate the work of them that turn aside, and it shall not cleave to me. Amen. I'm telling you today, amen, that that sin will separate you from God. Yep. God hates sin, amen. He'll have no part with it, amen. But if you give in to it, amen, and you let sin stay and remain in your life and then you wonder why things aren't going in a good way, amen. Let's just put it that way. Things aren't going in a way, a prosperous way. Then it's because there's sin there. Yep. Sin lies at the door. You know, you can always tell when sin comes into the church. The church begins to separate. It begins to divide. Come on. And as a pastor, it's my job to make sure that sin don't remain, especially upon the pulpit. Amen. It's my job to make sure and watch over the sheep, amen, and make sure that that what's going on in this place is not of the enemy, amen, and not of the world, but of God, amen. Well, how are you going to do that? By praying and spending time with God. You can't listen to what everybody else thinks. I can't go upon your opinion, amen. And you may look at me and say, well, Brother Derek, I, I know that this is going on, but... Just because you heard of it don't mean that it's happening. Amen. See, the enemy comes in many different disguises. A lot of different masks. Amen. And oh, he can paint up a real pretty picture, Brother yeah. Johnny. But if we're walking wisely, we're walking circumspectively, then God's going to lead God and direct us. Amen. Now, there have been times I've made mistakes. Come on, brother. There have been times when when uh, I didn't pray about things like I should. And things happened, amen, and I learned from them. I'm sad to say that I failed the church. And I learned a, a valuable lesson in a hard way, amen. I've done it too, brother. But you know, what I can tell you is I've been there, amen. And I won't be caught going there again, amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I learned from it, amen. Glory to God. And it's time that we realize, amen, that, you know, we don't know best, but God does, amen. We need to yield ourselves and begin to bring forth the perfection that God's looking for in our life, amen. Yep. Or in your life, amen. Let me say it that way. God wants to do things in each and every one of our 
life and our walk here upon this earth. He wants to use us and use us effectively. He wants us to be instruments of honor and not dishonor. Amen. And if we'll walk wisely, amen, and we'll try to strive to walk in perfection with God and do all that we possibly can, amen, and pray like we should and spend time with God and come to church when the doors are open and, and be nice and considerate one of another and serve one another the way that God has served us. What did He do for you? He sent His Son who died. He did everything He possibly could. He sent the greatest that heaven had yep. just for you. Yes, brother. Amen. What are you going to do for that one sitting next to you? Come on. How far will you go? Amen. Jesus went to the ends of the earth. Amen. Are you willing to do that for your neighbor? Amen. amen. I'm here to tell you, amen. It's not an easy walk, but it's the best walk you could ever walk. Amen. Praise the Lord this morning, church. Amen. Bless him, Jesus. We need to come in unity. In one mind, in one accord this morning. That's the greatest thing that could possibly happen here in this service this morning. Is that we begin to get in one mind, in one accord. And see what God wants to do. Amen. How many would like to see what God wants to do this morning? Yes. You know what we need to do? We need to come together. And unite ourselves as one. Amen. And, and, and if you have a negative thought, amen, cast that thing down. Don't give place to it. Don't ponder upon it. Amen. Rebuke the enemy. Amen. Stand for Jesus. Amen. I can tell you, amen, that God will take care of all things. Amen. Ephesians 4 and 13 says, Till we all come in the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statutes of the fullness of Christ. Amen. We've got to come in that place, in that one mind, in one accord, where God can have His way. And one of these days, Brother George Jesus is going to come back. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've got to be ready, church. Hebrews 6 and 1 says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. James 1 and 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, Amen. that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. You know, when we begin to yield ourselves completely and totally to God, Brother Johnny, We'll find our not, ourselves not at want. Mm -hmm. Because God said He'd supply our need. Amen. We won't want for nothing. Why? Because God knows how to take care of us, Sister Sue. He already knows what we're in need of. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we've got to learn to walk wise, don't we? Amen. I wanted to share this one here with you. Amen. amen. I wrote a little footnote down on this one. Amen. Because... I feel like that God is a, He wants us to be wise. Amen. Listen to this found in Genesis 17 and 1. Amen. It says that when Abraham was 90 years old, 90 years old in man, he was 99 years old. Amen. The Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. Amen. Now, Abraham was 99 years old and God was still telling him to walk wise. Amen. You're not too old to learn. Amen. Amen. There's not one in here that's even that age. Amen. And I can tell you, amen, that you didn't grow old by being dumb. Amen. Come on. So I'm not telling you you're not wise, but God's still telling us that we need His guidance. Amen. Yes. We need to listen to Him. We need to do it His way. Amen. We need to keep self out of the way and let God have His way in our life. We need God to use us. Amen. In these last days, because others' bloods upon our hands. All those that we come in contact with. 
God allowed us to walk before them. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you today, amen, God is wanting to do something in your life, amen. He wants to use you in an awesome way, and I believe everyone in this house wants to be used by God, amen. I believe every one of us in this house truly love the Lord, amen, and, and we want to want God to, to take us and, and, and use us in to, to see those that are lost saved, amen. Yep. I believe that with all my heart, Brother George, that at times, amen, we just fall short of doing God's will. Amen. I know I do. I know I do. I'm guilty. I believe at times we just let God down and don't mean to, amen. Mm -hmm. But because we don't spend enough time with Him, Randy, we fail Him, amen. And we fail those around us, amen. So we need to learn and realize today, amen, that if we'll walk close to God and we'll take His Word and place it upon the tables of our heart, amen, if we'll separate ourselves from the world, Sister Sue, and be be like, be like more like Christ, amen, that we can make a difference no matter where we're at. Amen. I heard Sandra say, you know, we can worship God in our home in the bathroom, in the car, amen, down at Walmart, amen, we can worship God no matter where we go, amen, yep. because God is an omnipotent God, amen, He's everywhere, amen, there's nowhere you'll ever go that God's not there, amen, He sees and knows and hears all things, amen, and He wants to use you in these last days, amen, to be a difference maker, amen, yes, how many of you are willing to let God have His way in your life today? Amen? On, How many of you know that God wants to do something with you? Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I 